सिविल सोसाइटी ऑफ पाकिस्तान सो इट इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक फॉर दिस सेशन बिकॉज पाकिस्तान सिविल सोसाइटी इज अ वेरी वाइब्रेंट वन बिकॉज इट हैज अ लॉन्ग हिस्ट्री ऑफ स्ट्रगल इन द प्रमोशन ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी एंड इन कॉन्टेक्सट ऑफ ह्यूमन राइट्स सो देर आर वाइड रेंज ऑफ चैलेंजेस to the civil society also in context of pakistan's case so uh, specifically after the 911 situation various uh, threats from the uh, terrorist organizations and the extremist groups uh, but the civil society of pakistan they actually faced all times of uh, difficult situations and they have their very strong case in context of pakistan's a uh, democratic struggle and in the specifically for the working class for the rights of minorities as well as in the social development specifically in the rural areas so we can say that uh, in context of pakistan the struggle by the civil society specifically in the restoration of democracy it is also a very important topic what type of impact the civil society has in pakistan the overall impact of the civil society initiatives we can discuss that uh, various ngos those are working in pakistan uh, initially uh, they have a uh, minor acceptance in pakistani society but now various ngos they have their acceptance specifically in the economic development and in the social development sectors because uh, they have now performed and they they are delivering in the field of education in the field of health in the field of the availability of clean water and specifically uh, in in delivering a lot of services to the needy and poor people of far away areas so uh, it is estimation that there are approximately uh, 100000 ngos operating in pakistan uh, although the exact number is not available because some ngos are registered and some are still unregistered although now the government has a very much clear cut rules regulations about the registration of ngos and about the working and the funding of the ngos but still uh, some are registered and some are uh, working under the name of some other ngos so we can say that uh, civil society organizations include uh, in pakistan uh, they are some professional associations they are rep- representing like the trade unions they are uh, the professional associations faith based associations are also there in the in pakistan some are cultural associations community based organizations and some social welfare organizations uh, some are non profit uh, health providers and some are non profit school based and some are the foundations for the services for the on the voluntarily basis although there are some type of challenges in the case of pakistan because uh, we all know that pakistan is an uh, ideological based society where the acceptance of the uh, such type of organizations those are not uh, the same having the same ideology but now in the 21st century the pakistani society is uh, operating on more open based levels अब 21वीं सदी में पाकिस्तान का माशरा जो है वो ये देख रहा है कि वो सारी ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस सिविल सोसाइटी का स्ट्रक्चर जो पाकिस्तान के लोगों के उन मसाइल पर तवज्जो दे रहा है जहां गवर्नमेंट की अटेंशन शायद उतनी ज़्यादा नहीं है या इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस की मदद से गवर्नमेंट की तवज्जो वहाँ मबजूल कराई जा रही है बहुत सारी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जो हैं वो बच्चों के लिए मुफ्त तालीम का बंदोबस्त करती हैं ताकि उनके स्कूल्स में बच्चों के लिए खाने का अहतमाम भी होता है तो वो बहुत सारे वालदे जो अपने बच्चों को प्रॉपर स्कूल में नहीं भेज सकते वो ऐसी जगहों पर इन एन 
کے بنائے گئے اسکولوں کے ذریعے اپنے بچوں کو تعلیم بھی دلا رہی ہیں اور بہت ساری جگہوں پر ایسی آرگنائزیشنس جو ہیں وہ وہ لوگوں کے لیے ہیلتھ سروسز بھی پرووائڈ کر رہی ہیں تو پاکستان میں چیلنجز ہیں بٹ اسٹل دا سول سوسائٹی از الائیو ان دا پاکستان کیس اینڈ دے آر پرووائڈنگ دیئر سروسز فار دا بیٹرمنٹ آف پاکستانی سوسائٹی